And today's The Lot, one of the world's best loved operas, has been made into a movie. The Lots. Susie Marquez joining us with so much more on that. Hi, Susie. Hi, guys. And now, this is really special because it has to do with culture, but it's also for kids. So The Magic Flute by Mozart has oh. been made into a movie for teens, transporting you to other worlds Harry Potter style. I'm Sophie. I'm Tim. Jack Wolf plays Tim Walker, a high schooler sent to the Austrian Alps to attend the legendary Mozart boarding school. <laughs> There he discovers a forgotten passageway into the fantastic world of Mozart's The Magic Flute. My parents are both uh, musicians and they work with like, music in the community. So my mum teaches piano and runs a community choir. And my dad works with like brass bands. And so I was always sort of surrounded by music. This is my first ever feature film. And so to be doing a film that's based on you know, uh, it's a tribute to, I guess, a live art form feels like full circle and very special to me. The Queen of the Night aria by Mozart is among the most famous in opera, and she's a villain in the opera and the movie. <laughs> Director Florian Siegel says he fell in love with Mozart's music when he saw the 1984 movie Amadeus. Loved Amadeus as a movie from when I was a small kid, and I started studying music because of that, and started playing the violin because of that, and always dreamed of creating something that could inspire other people as well, especially kids. These are originals. F. Murray Abraham played composer Antonio Salieri, Mozart's adversary. He won the Best Actor Oscar for his incredible portrayal and stars in The Magic Flute as headmaster of the school, Dr. Longbow. And he almost didn't take the role. I was really stunned. I mean, it was at first, it was an idea by a really wonderful casting director in London, uh, Sophie Holland, who actually she just recently finished working on Wednesday. So she's like a super pro and she, she came with great uh, suggestions. And we, when she suggested Murray, I was like, I wouldn't have thought that he would do it, to be very honest. I thought, okay, let's let's give it a try. It was like a mere dream. And and he wasn't sure at the beginning, but his his wife made him. And then he said, okay, I'll do it. In one world, he's a student. In the other, Tim Walker becomes Prince Tamino, where he goes on fantastical adventures, tricked by the Queen of the Night. It's, it's so brilliant and so expansive and beautiful. And... Um, it also feels nostalgic. It reminds me of the films I grew up with in that in that way. Wait, guys, I'm here. I'm scared of the dark. Really special movie. By the way, one of his favorite movies is The Neverending Story. Uh, Do you remember love, that one love too? That movie. Yeah, so you ever. get yeah, so you get that vibe. You get a little Mozart, yeah. some culture. It's it's just really special in theaters now for the whole family. It looks beautiful. It the is. visuals and yeah. the audio, right? right? Yeah. Ah, thank, thank you, Susan. You.